as part of the elevation of bilateral relations to that of strategic and comprehensive partnership, Namibia and China have been consulting at high level. Namibia also signed China's Belt and Road Initiative during the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, in Beijing, with the hope of benefiting immensely from large-scale infrastructure projects that is expected to emanate from this initiative. The Chinese government has set aside about 60 billion U.S. dollars for development cooperation with the different African countries. President Gainkop commended Chinese investments in Namibia, especially in infrastructure and mineral industries. China is one of our, our largest export markets and among our top five trading partners. Our government is making tireless efforts to stimulate economic growth and thereby, among other things, create a conducive environment for employment creation. In this context, we welcome the major investment by China in infrastructure development and in the mining sector. The HUSA arose in near Arandes, as well as the expansion of the Wall Street Bay port, are some of the strategic Chinese engagement in America. China's Deputy Prime Minister Sun Chun Lan says the task is to advance and implement the objectives of the agreements between her country and Namibia. The current discussions include Hosea Kutako International Airport Road expansion at Phase 2, construction of four schools in rural areas in Kavango West and Zambezi regions, as well as satellite data receiving ground station in Ventuk, which is in the pipeline. In 2018, you paid a state visit to China and later came for the FOCAC summit and had two meetings with President Xi Jinping. This frequency of meetings between the leaders demonstrate how close our bilateral relations are. I would say that you and President Xi drew up a blueprint for bilateral relationships cooperation. These unbreakable relations originate from our similar historical sufferings development philosophy, and a state on sound and steady grounds with fruitful outcomes in cooperation in multiple areas. In 2018, the Chinese government's commitment stood at 903 million Namibia dollars for development projects, including the youth training center in Ritfontein and social housing project that is to be implemented in Hobabes and Hruatfontein. Apart from the official talks, the Deputy Prime Minister Chun Lan's delegation will visit the Swakopmund tracking station. Blanche Corres, NBC News.